Hello everyone and welcome to a new Armour Paint video. This is the first episode of my new Armour Paint series. In this series you will learn how to paint a very basic object like this hydrant. Nothing too complex. This should be very beginner friendly but I still recommend you to watch my older Armour Paint tutorials. There I cover the basics of Armour Paint. After you watch those you can easily follow me in the episodes in this new series. I really hope you guys like it. Before we paint in Armour Paint we need to set some things up. Here in Blender I have my Hydrant object that can be found in the description below. Here I separated my hydrant into two materials. One is the base body and the other are the chains. With this we can easily paint in armor paint. As you can see here it only selects the body part and not the chains. The same thing with the chains. Now that we got our materials we only have to create the UV map for the hydrant to paint on. For this we simply click Q for unwrap and unwrap it. Make sure you hire the margin value for keeping little space between the UV parts. If your object has a lot of vertices it takes longer to create the UV map. To check our UV map we split the viewport and set it to UV editor. Here in edit mode we can see now our UV map. With the margin value we have now more space between the parts. Now everything is set up and ready for painting. We simply have to export our hydrant as a OBJ file. We are here in Armour Paint and ready to paint our object. Here I have two folders of textures. These two folders are two materials in Armour Paint. I highly recommend you see gtextures.com, it has many textures to download. Make sure you created an account for downloading textures. Here just type substance in the search bar. Down here you can simply choose a metallic material for the object. After you found your textures you have to download these and put it in a folder. There are many other sites that have textures to download. Just type it in the comments below. So now back to Armour Paint. We have to drag our OBJ file into Armour Paint. After importing make sure that you select the separation to material since we created materials in Blender. And there we have it. Our hydrant in Armour Paint. We will first save our project before starting.
We start off with the base color. For this I simply create a new layer. Unfortunately we can't rename layers in our more paint. This layer is supposed to be the main base layer. Simply fill it with the color for now. In the 2D view we can see our UV map filled with a white color. To create our material in the known editor we first have to import our textures by dragging them into the textures section. As you can see our more paint provides a very cool feature that imports all textures in a folder at once. It also creates the material for you. For the base color material I just delete the diffuse texture and simply add a color node instead. Connect it to the color input. Now set the color to a red color. Now you can see that the metallic material is red. You can see this from the light and bumpiness. Also we have to set the layer to the base part of the hydrant, because we only want to paint on the body. We need to add some improvement. We add a mapping node and connect it to the textures. After connecting we add a texture coordinate node and simply connect it to the mapping node. Now we can change the values from the UV coordinate that we just connected. Here I increase the values of the texture scaling. Here I select my other material that we will use for the chains. Simply just create a new layer. This new layer is just for the chains. Also we will not scale the textures from the chains material. To have better control of the base material change the layer to fill layer. You can now change the color without painting over and over again. That is basically it. We created very simple materials. In the next episode we will working with masks to create the worn off effect and also the edge wear effect. I really hope you liked it. If so then please leave a like.